subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. All member names are added to the members wall in game. This is a special shout out to all my level 2 and 3 members. Hey guys and welcome back to Zenex that I Alpha 19. So as you guys see we're in the menu and that usually means we're going to face a horde. Now I thought it was going to be day 103 but it's going to be a, a day 102 horde and I hope we are ready for this. Now I put all the ammo we crafted upstairs already in the turrets. So now we just have to face the horde. Let's just hope this goes way better and also I made a few more rockets. So this should, if this doesn't work guys, I don't know what's going to work. I also have a new design that I want to use as well later. So as you guys can see, we are on Nightmare Speed, 60 minute days, three uh, every 3 days a Blood Moon, and then also 64 uh, Blood Moon spawn. But remember, this is actually a lot higher. Um, with this bigger Hordes mod, I think it's already nearing 200, 250 thereabout. Apparently the max zombies alive at a stage could be 250 with this modlet. And with our game stage on a level so high, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's 30 in more game, uh, in game minutes more, and then we'll face the ward. And as you guys might have noticed, we have a few more members over here. Now, I want to say a thank you to Senjik and Mern Rucker for joining us. So guys, if you want to join um, Diaz, Senjik, and Rucker over here as members of the channel, hit that join button and see what uh, offers I have over there. There's three levels. You guys can see Survivor, Feral Expert, and Apocalyptic Council. So Mern is going to join me on Discord during the streams, and he's getting the videos a lot, a lot earlier there, earlier than the rest. Okay, now before I continue, I'm getting a little bit of lag over here, so I think I'm going to go and put this back to low. And then also, audio settings 10, because the electric fence posts are going to shock so loudly now. Yeah, as you guys can see, I went and I made everything reinforced concrete over here. Um, I took a few in-game hours to do this. Now, all these turrets are fully stocked on top. Um, that side as well, and then this generator holding all the gas um, over here was actually completely empty for the turrets. So I had to refill that, turn it on, and now we just quickly, I just want to do this. I want to show the zombies where they need to go, the pathing. I need to make sure the pathing is correct. I always do that just in case. Now we need to put on the turrets. Over. I think I'm going to do the electric fence post from the start, all of them. Now, guys, I'm rather impressed with how the last horde turned out. Um, as, you, as you guys know, there was about like seven or so demolishers that exploded, and yet they only took out a layer over here. Oh crap. Damn it, just before the horde. But yeah, they took out a whole level over here, uh, or le level of wall and stuff, and nothing more, not even at the back. The explosion damage didn't even carry through. I wonder if the way it's designed, or what's going on over here now. And then I should probably also turn on the turrets and the lights, so one, we have lights, and then two, the turrets can always fire. Yeah, they're going to come around. I also dropped the fencing all around. I don't, know, I don't know how many of you guys noticed that. Okay, I wonder if I should let them come nice and close before I actually deal with them. Especially the demolisher zombies. They need to be up close and personal so we can just... Oh, uh, there's one already. Uh, let's do that. Do this. Boom. Ah, uh, you dead. You have to be dead. If he's not dead, that's going to suck. Now, we just got a demolisher on our first try, guys. The horde's barely started. So I think we're in for a bang out of the episode. I wonder, should we turn the middle ones off? Um, over here. Okay, I want you guys to explode over here. Come on. So the middle ones are off. It's only the ex-shocking uh, zombies at the moment. But that's a good thing as well. We don't want too many of these electric fence posts working at the same time. Because one, it creates lag. And two, um, yeah, it's damage the zombie too much. Whoa. Oh, land claim. Oh, I was wondering what just exploded. <laughs> it was actually the um, tin uh, mines I put over here. Are you still alive? Yes, you are. Boom. See, it still takes two turrets uh, or two rockets per demolisher. So I want to make sure I, I can kill as many demolishers as possible in the same shot. I just need to make sure I also do a few headshots over here. Boom, headshot. I don't have to use more rockets. Guys, we have to try and conserve our rockets as much as possible. Now there's two demolishers. So it might just be worth... Let's do this. It might just be worth using a rocket over here. Do that. Boom. Boom. Please don't tell me he exploded. That was way too close to comfort. He's, uh, his uh, detonator is red. Meaning that was insanely close just now. I, need it. I actually need more con uh, contact grenades, guys. Contact grenades or the other grenades. I need to make more for myself. But I think contact does more damage to entities. And then the grey ones more damage to block damage. Just like frag rockets and HE rockets. Oops. 
Man, these turrets are on point today. They're wrecking these zombies in one go. And also, what I do have... Recog. So now I'm going to do way more damage with my ranged weapons. I should have done this sooner, I think. I think also my rocket counts as ranged as well, hopefully. Okay, let's just go for that one over there. See if I can shoot him in the face. I wonder if I killed him or not. It sucks when they stand back up, especially with a headshot like that. That was straight in his face, so he has to be dead. But yeah, this recog helps us with range damage, guys. It does 50% more damage. I just want to see if the uh, back wall over there, if there are no demolishers or cops exploding during this horde, I want to see if that actually gets destroyed again. Because during my last horde, that wall took a ton of unnecessary damage. I just want to burst fire, so that's why I'm just click click clicking every now and then. I want to make sure that I don't actually keep on firing and don't see a demolisher go by. That always ends up happening and it sucks when it happens. So do that, hit the top, boom, rain of fire. I love it when the fire drops on them like that. I just know, I don't know. It's the fire effect. Oh. Almost hit me just now. It's the fire effect and the smoke effect that I love, especially with, uh, combined with the electric fence post over here. And you guys should know, we have the middle ones off. The middle ones are off, but yet, we are doing the same amount of damage. We're stopping them in their tracks. So that's actually rather impressive, in my opinion. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally hit the demolisher at the back. There's one right behind that guy. Boom, headshot. Another headshot. And let's just use the rocket on him as well. Let's see if I can get a headshot in on him. Boom, nice. And that one's still alive at the back, so now I can do this. Boom. Okay, I need one more demolisher. Come on. Make it worth it for me. He's shocking at least, so I don't have to worry about too much. I should be able to do a headshot on him. I mean, he is close to dying anyways. If I can kill him with a headshot, why? No, no, wait. Now there's two. Now it's worth it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, crap. Damn, you have to zoom in and fire. Otherwise, it doesn't work that well. Damn it. That was a bad one. It's, it's weird how the rocket misses, or, or rather it goes so insanely skew when you don't zoom in. If you don't do this, you miss easily. Now there's two. There's one on that side, one on that side. Please just tell me they're all coming around. Okay, I want to actually be able to hit them in the back as well. Because this in the face is actually what's making them explode. I don't want them exploding at all. Can I kill this one, please? Okay, let's do this. Shoot at the legs. If I don't shoot the chest, then at least they won't explode. Boom, again. Oh, one of them just almost exploded. That was bad. I need to be careful and wary of that. So the more of them I can kill with headshots, the better. Especially with my recog still going, I should be able to kill most of them. Oh. Imagine that, but looking down at this guy, I just set off the demolish uh, at the back. This is definitely going to be a demolish horde, guys. The fact that they're already in the horde so early on. It's insane when they're this early. Come on, I want headshots. I'm accidentally going to hit the demolish over there because of all these spiders jumping in front. Okay. So far so good, I think. As you guys can see, I even have normal 762 rounds over here because I was wondering, I was fearing we are going to run out of ammo. I forgot to make armor piercing rounds. Although I thought we made enough, but we definitely didn't. I want them to get closer. What can I do to enable that? No, that's switch it off. Switch off. So now they're only shocking at the bottom. Now that they're closer, put the X back on. Because I'm just keeping my eyes and ears open for the demolishers. The zombies can also hit each other and that's a bad thing for us. As soon as they start hitting each other, it means that they can set each other off. Come on. Where's that demolisher? There was one at the back just now. Okay, and then, they rain fire down upon them. I love it when it does that. So technically we could put the sound lower. Last episode I had it on 5, but I think that was too low. But let's just do it for now. Because that, you can hear the back noise. Even though it's frozen, the electric noise is still there. Okay, so now, the only problem when I do the fire is I can't see demolishers. So if I hear do 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 then I just have to shoot a rocket or two. Anyway, let's clear them out. 
41k XP, just like that. 41k. Boom, in the face. There's definitely a cop over there. Is he still alive? He seems dead. If he's not standing up... No, he's not standing up. Cool. We have to be careful with those cops. They love uh, sleeping and then all of a sudden they explode when you're not looking. I think with my other base, the tower base, that's what made the most damage. Uh, that's a demolisher, right? That's either a demolisher or that's a... Yeah, that's a demolisher. They look a lot like the biker uh, zombies. I just want to make sure I don't actually shoot him in the chest. That's what keeps happening and then he keeps exploding. All his friends join in on it. Boom. Okay, 13k XP right there. I should technically also make sure we are reloaded every single time. And also, two skill points. As you guys can see, we are maxed out already. I just need these five of you and then we have all the skills. Okay, I hope I... No, he exploded. Damn it, that wasn't in time. I accidentally set one off without noticing and now two exploded so far. It's still better than last time, but still. Okay, I want to see if these shotguns set him off or not. Because they're shooting from the top. They shouldn't be able to hit his chest. Except if they do that. Oh, that was almost... That was almost... If they set off his, uh, his, uh, his charge like that when he turns on his back, that's bad. And I love being able to stand in the back of it and just fire. Okay, so the X is... Okay, mid is on. So it's just the feet shocking at the moment. Let's turn the X back on. We don't want them getting too close and just using the turrets over here to kill them. Okay, so demolish it at the back. I just want to make sure we get through to him at the back. We need to do it twice because there's two of them. And that definitely didn't kill them just now. Remember guys, you have to shoot two rockets, otherwise it doesn't kill them. It's, uh, they're going to stand up and then if the friends accidentally hit them, I mean look at this one. As soon as it flipped on his back, the turret shot its timer or its uh, charge on the stomach. Or chest or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I want to so badly shoot the zombies in front of that guy. But if, uh, for example, the ammo gets through the one zombie, it's going to hit everything. Boom! Okay. He didn't explode. I just managed in time. Nice. See, we have to be very careful. You have to aim in. I just wish the, the rocket was a little bit faster at reloading. I mean, that reload speed is what almost gets me every single time. Come on, headshot. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. I should have to make a rocket. Oh, that was bad. I should have used a rocket. I was being overconfident. You know what? Let's just do this. That is off. Let's just put that one on. On. Uh, turn off. So this one needs to be on. So now the all, electric, all the electric fence posts are shocking. Let's get let's get them get as far as close as possible. If there's cops and stuff vomiting, we'll try and kill them like to the back over there. But I want to see how uh, close these zombies can come and then perhaps use a rocket or two. Crap, that cop's going to explode. No, 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 no. Zoom in. Boom. Boom. Please tell me I killed him just now and he didn't explode. Damn, just as I killed the one, another one rounded the corner. So I managed to set off the ones, uh, to manage to stop the one's explosion, but then the other one set itself off. Okay, so there are demolishers at the back. Let's just aim for the legs. See, if you aim for the legs, then you don't end up hitting their charges. But the, uh, the rocket does go up and down as it flies. For example, if I shoot like this, it's not going to hit there. It's going to hit there, 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 or there. You have to be so careful with these rockets because they can easily set the demolisher off. He's still alive. Come on, I just want to make sure I don't accidentally kill someone else. As soon as I get a do 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 do, I need to be careful. Okay, two demolishers and I got- where's the rest of the zombies? I want to kill all of them at the same time. That just now was three rockets, guys. It took three rockets killing those two. That's insane. The amount of demolishers of here, though, it's insane. It's scary. You know what, let's just try and do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this, and then turn it back on. Okay, so these got nice and far. I thought th those might get as far as well. I want to have them up close and personal over here. Especially the demolishers, I want to be able to hit them closer. Let's just put the X's on. The mids can go off. So dogs will get through, spiders will get through. But at least we should be able to get all the demolishers over here. Especially if we stand back a bit. And just do this. Come on, again. 
Okay, you can uh, come closer. I, I don't mind if it's one or two of these guys. I can also do a headshot every now and then to kill them. I'm just glad they're not saboteurs. Like, you shoot them and then they get mad like the cops and start to explode. It's a different kind of explosion. You have to set them... Oh, crap. The cops can explode, I think. It's a different kind of explosion than the cops. The cops get mad and explode. The demolishers, you have to shoot the chest. Okay, did I just see a demolisher back there? If that's the case, I need to be insanely careful. They keep their heads low and they, uh, they go left and right. They sway themselves. So it's really hard to tell which one's demolisher and which one's not. Let's just clear out the hallway of it. I'm going to be able to see a demolisher at the back. You know, demolishers, but there is, is a cop over there. Boom. Okay, so since it is this clear, let's quickly repair. Okay, we do have a little bit of loot over here. I should actually go drop it, but we don't have time at the moment. Okay, guys, so if this was a two-hour horde, we might have actually survived. We still have... No, we only have two rockets left. We will not have survived. I need a base where you can actually go for a two-hour two -hour day horde and easily survive. I'm actually thinking of a put design 5x5. Five five, so as, if the molecules fall in there, you can just shoot them with a rocket. And then you don't have to use that many rockets because, I mean, they're going to be so close to each other anyways. Only problem with that is I'm going to have to use, like... Uh, Dart traps or turrets or something in the wall to shoot the zombies and cripple them. Just like a massive onslaught of guns. Man, look at this, all this loot over here. It's always nice to see that much loot. Whoops. No, 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 no. You actually got a nice shot. Let's see if I can do a headshot on a cop. I just hope there's no more demolishers. Especially since I just wasted that shot on a cop. The cop is overkilled, dead, but at least he's dead now. Guys, as you know, we love um, overkilling cops, especially. Because the demolishers, you, uh, you can actually see when they're not going to explode, but the cops, they, they look dead and all of a sudden they get you. Come on. I'm just afraid that if I keep shooting like this, all of a sudden demolish will show up at the back. I haven't even used my other turrets, this or my other uh, M60s this horde. Which for once is actually really, really we uh, weird, or rare for me. And let's just clear out this over here. I don't think... Oh, for a moment I thought I heard another tick, 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 tick sound. That would be bad. I keep forgetting about the dogs. At least we have the turrets. If it wasn't for the turrets, I would have been bitten quite a few times by now. But every time the, tur uh, the dogs get close to me, they get annihilated by all these shotgun turrets. Just to make sure there's no zombies that got blown to the sides of here. I'm just going to light them up head level. It gets all blurry when I have to zoom in, but as long as I'm aiming head level and just tick tick, uh, just burst firing over here, it should be fine. Is that a... Remember that he looked like a demolisher. That would have been bad. Imagine after coming this far and surviving so much, all of a sudden there's a demolisher. If that cop explodes, it's going to take out all his friends for me. Oh, there's enough cops over here. Uh, no, 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 no. It's going to explode. At least if the cops explode, they take their friends with, so they clear out the hallway for me. But I want to be able to kill these zombies on my own. Get the XP myself. Man, a constant stream of zombies over here. I just wish I could make a tunnel one wide, guys, but as, as some of you have also said, um, if you make a tunnel that's narrow, the zombies will stack over each other and they'll bundle up and start destroying the entrance. They need to be this far apart at least, at bare minimum. Also guys, a ton of you have been saying that uh, my uh, hallway is actually too shallow. Um, I, I know, sorry, I forgot your name, and I think it's Nemesis. Um, that uh, I should actually go for a 5x5 five five hallway. Only problem with that is, even if a demolisher explodes then, uh, the whole point is so that if it explodes that it doesn't do that too much damage to the walls. But if he's standing right next to the wall, he'll in any case do that damage to the walls, uh, through the walls. It's not like he's standing in the middle and exploding, that would be the ideal situation. If we can force zombies to use the middle of the hallway even though it's 5 wide. Now one of you guys said in the previous um, experimental releases, that if I put a 3x3 three three hallway like this and I put half blocks on the floor, the zombies are more inclined to go for the middle than the half blocks. 
So if I can perhaps play around with it like that and force them to go down the middle, even though the wallway is thick, that might just work. Okay, so no vultures or anything. I don't hear these shoot at all. 20 shots. Come on. This one is 39 shots. 25 and... Come on, it's my push to talk button again doing this. And 19 shots. Not bad. I was actually expecting way more damage, but not bad. Okay, so let's just quickly check upstairs. As you guys can see, I put in a vault door now. Then you can go in. Whoops, I'm getting stuck in the vault door, I think. Wait, what? How did that get destroyed? There was definitely a ladder over here. I hope vultures didn't get in my base. Why is that ladder destroyed? That is so not comforting. Okay, so I want to quickly drop my stuff. Now, we can't drop it upstairs. I'm going to have to drop it here. Just drop all my ammo. No, 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 no. Uh, loot that we just got, I'm going to keep on me. I'm going to get into my base quickly because I want to just grab all my stuff. So do this, do this, do this. I'm going to have to first get wood somewhere before I can go into my own base. That sucks. Okay, so I can't even wear my lucky loot goggles because I can't get in there. So let's just make sure all of these are switch off, switch off. All of these are off, so I think middle is off. X is off, and turrets, let's keep the turrets on. Just in case there's a scream or something coming for me. Okay, so guys, this ward actually went way better than the last one, but just because we had rockets. Um, the fact that a few demolishers at the back exploded, I don't like that. I want to be able to shoot behind them. Let the explosion come from behind and rock them forward. At the moment, it's shooting, uh, it's exploding right in front of them, and then sometimes it's very close to the detonator on their chests. That's why they explode. That, or even though I'm aiming for the legs, remember that rocket does sway a little bit. Even if you're zooming in, it does sway. So uh, even though I'm aiming for, like, for example, the stomach, it could technically still hit the chest. That might have just been what happened. Okay, quickly sell or scrap all the clothes. Let's just do that. Just quickly want to make some space over here, guys. Um, this is stag party. We can just as well do that, and then voila. Okay, let's keep looting. So this time around, the loot is way crappier, as far as I can see. So uh, so far, it's crappier. Last time we get, oh, we got way more guns and clothes and stuff to sell. This time it's more uh, crappy, crappy ammo that we never use and some schematics. Although if we can get the last perk book, that would be awesome. We literally need one more, just one more perk book. Okay, so we can eat and scrap a few things over here. We don't use beer and do that. Okay, so this should be enough space to quickly loot the last few bags over here. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Where did that just go? Schematic, there you go. Um, the brass I could technically also scrap. I just want, I hope my inventory isn't too full to be able to do that, or rather my queue. So if I do that, it opens up a little bit more slots over here. Like so, and boom. Okay, so as you guys can see, I took out the whole railing on the sides of here, all the way around. So it forces zombies more to just fall in, come for me, not... I just don't want them getting stuck over here and then accidentally going for the walls, or on purpose going for the walls over here. Did we get any wood, or anything related with wood? I need to get up that ladder now, but I'm going to have to jump, jump, jump to be able to get up. Okay, and then this block, it seems, got destroyed, but I should be able to still make it up. Now, this took an insane amount of damage again. I think this is my explosions. Over here, at least the damage, guys. This is way less damage than last time. But I might just have to make this hallway a complete three thick instead of this. So take out the one layer. And then at the back over here, I'll show you guys this for those of you new to the channel. At the back over here, then I'd, I'll just fill in this row and make it reinforce concrete. So then it's going to be one, two, three layers of steel thick. Although, that, remember, then I'm going to have to do it one row at the back, let it dry, steel. One row at the back, let it dry. It's going to take forever. Um, but as long as we do it where the zombies are most likely to be, uh, that should go f a lot faster. And then at the back, I'm just going to leave open over here, and I can move this one turret, this SMG turret over here, protecting the hallway. I can move over here so it helps this one out. But yeah, this horde actually went way better than expected. Remember, guys, the only reason is this, even last horde, the zombies didn't, even though the seven demolishers exploded, they didn't get through this block over here. Remember, it's this block and then a half block over there. Even the whole, whole way through. That's why you can see it's actually a half block all the way through. They only took out the half blocks and a little bit of the floor, I think. And they didn't even go down into the floor. So that was weird. Okay. Can I drop all the stuff, please? Let's just make sure I can drop most of the stuff over here. 
Um, anything we're not going to sell. I can just as well keep on me for now. Uh, coin's going to go. Water. Ammo we definitely keep. I want to fill up all my uh, turrets as we do the hordes. I want to make sure we always end up just dropping everything we don't need. I'm not dropping everything. Oh, what did I just say? <laughs> I need to make sure we are always fully stocked on ammo in my stuff, in my uh, turrets. So, for example, these over here fired a ton of shots. Let's just do that. Do that. Lock. Next one. This one's actually... This one didn't fire as much as the other one. It shows these closer ones took the real job to heart. Okay. Do this. Do this. Please tell me I have enough for all of these at the bottom at least. Yes. Just, just. Nice. So now I just have to focus on the shotgun turrets on top. These ones over here protecting the, uh, the hatch. This. Oh, these over here. These are auto turrets. These are shotgun turrets on the other side as well. Okay, so now we need to get up there, but I have no idea. Let's also do this quickly. Audio 15. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to have to try and jump up over here because you can stand on a ladder and do that. I have no idea why that got destroyed. I'm going to have to look into that. So I'm not busy with anything over here, but we are making a ton of concrete mix and the, uh, the cement mixes over here. There's going to be at least almost 6k in all of them. And then also I am smelting down stone and oh, rather, um, iron and clay over here for more rocket casings. And then in these, we're making some more steel. Oh, not yet. I gathered the, the clay, but I didn't put them in. Okay, cool. So yeah, as soon as this is done smelting, we can put the clay in and then we have steel again. So we are actually very, very, very low in steel, if I'm not mistaken. Steel I put, yeah, over here. Well, it's not very low. It's actually doing quite well, I think, in my opinion. Okay, so can we quickly dump a few things over here? It doesn't look like there's anything that wants to drop on this side. I don't want to go back and forth and back and forth between all the boxes, you know, at coins. Oh, while, while I just said that, we still have a, a ton of stuff from downstairs that we wanted to sell. So let's just put that where it needs to go now. Almost 6,000 cash right there. Nice. We're going to make a killing as soon as we go to the trader. Uh, but it's not going to be anytime soon because you need to do a ton of building as well. Now, guys, I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, let's just do this. Look how bright this is. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What happened? It had to have been vultures. No. I thought my base took a little bit of damage. Okay, there's turrets on the inside, but no turrets on top. That was just... Oh, that sucks. There were definitely vultures up here. So did the door also take damage? Damn. As soon as I saw that uh, the, the power was off, I knew. Oh, crap. Damn it. That's a ton of loss, guys. We had solar cells in there. Five purple ones. You know how expensive those things are. Okay, anyways. Uh, meds. Let's quickly drop that. Which means we're quickly going to go to our trade and just see if he has some backups for us. I'm going to be able to get these lights going again. And then I'm going to put one of these turrets. All these are SMG turrets. I'm going to put two of them on top and two of them inside. Just to make sure that if the vultures attack again, these things... Oh, I can't believe they actually came from the top. Now I actually feel downtrodden. <laughs> Damn, that's a ton of loss. Okay, we're just going to drop this. Uh, that's ammo. Okay, so we do have more shotgun shells over here. Let's just pull that in. We do have wood. I think I put that under building supplies. But I also want to make, I just want to make myself an iron la ladder from the start, from the get-go. So let's just do that. As you guys can see, I also made the, uh, the whole ladder via iron. It's actually going to be faster just making the wood one and upgrading it to iron. It's weird how it works. Okay, and then over here we still have our loot that I want to grab quickly. So I'm going to put these, no, I want to grab these four turrets downstairs. I want to fill them up completely. And then this is our loot gear over here. So I'm just going to do that. Grab what we need with that one. Wood, nah, not for now. Okay, that should do it. And then iron we can put away for now. I just wanted to make sure that we have enough iron. Or oh, had the iron on us so we can make the iron ladder over here. Guys, I can't believe that just happened. We lost a battery bank with a ton of very, very great engines. So I think I'm going to go to the pit base and see if they, if I forgot some engines over there. I could have sworn I had way more engines and stuff as well. Not just these crappy ones, but proper purple ones too. Damn, that was a massive loss on the roof. A massive loss. Okay, so the ladder should be done. Just want to make sure the rotation on this is right from the start. I hate it when it actually turns around on its own. And then, let's just quickly do this too. So, that is my... 
All good. That, that, that. My, my turret's still downstairs. I just need to grab that. Put this here, and I put this on me, and we're going to sell this over here. So as you guys can see, we have all our coins over here, and then all the other stuff that is going to go over here. Clothing, mods, uh, cash, all that stuff. I should actually quickly go to the trader and see if we can sell stuff. Wandering Horde. Hello. Where's the rest of you? Can't just be... Oh, there you go. There you go. I'm going to say, it can't just be two of you. But I only have 113 shots left, so I need to be careful. Whoops. Okay, that was bad. Are they stuck in the house or are they coming around? Where did these come from? It looked like they came right through the door over there. But I don't see any holes where they could have fit through. Okay, anyways. um, Let's just quickly go over here. At least the damage on the outside wasn't that bad. But the damage on top, that was insane. Okay. Pull this turret up. At least it's not that bad. Uh, they didn't actually use that much uh, rounds over here. I might just as well put a turret right next to my power sources next time, like surrounding it, uh, surrounding the power sources. Wondering who it's still. Okay, so now we have this up and running. I just can't believe I lost all that stuff now. Okay, ammo over here. And then our looting gear. Where's all my... Normal 762 round. I, I dropped it down below, didn't I? I need to do this. I just quickly want to grab my loot down below and then see what I can sell, what I don't need to sell and all that stuff. I wonder if there's, if it's just not loading in the hole that's in that uh, building over there. Because it really does look like zombies are running right through the place. Okay, so all this I should technically repair before we sell, but we don't have the cash for that. Or rather, we don't have the repair kits for that. That's, that's just going to be a waste of everything. Um... Let's do that. Go for two more stacks. Come on, there you go. Like so. That should be enough for us to really go have fun out there. Just so we put the normal ammo on and then put these back out there. Okay, I just saw, yeah, more 762. There you go. Now, we're fully stacked with 762. I don't even need to take my turret with me. That's how full we are. I, I should actually make sure we are always... Let's just do that. Uh, we always have a ton of 7.62 rounds on it. Our whole row is actually too much, but at least we'll be able to get a ton of looting done and we can just move. We don't have to worry. Now, where's my bike? Did I drop that down there as well or did I drop it upstairs? I can't remember just now. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we need to drink. Food is full. I just need to drink one of these. This is going to fill me up quite nicely because as you guys can see, for 56 seconds, the water is going to keep on counting. Okay, now. I actually feel kind of tired just from the fact that I lost all that stuff. It goes to show how this game also plays on you mentally. Okay, um, all the purple stuff over here. Doom, 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 doom. That's going to sell for quite a bit, thank you. I still need the headpiece and the chest piece of the military armor. Uh, but I mean like a purple one. Okay. There's still zombies wandering around over here, but we need to go to the trader to the right over there. You guys, like I said, if you want to join uh, these three members of here, uh, click that uh, join button and then just check out the stuff that you could get for becoming a member. Yeah, I need to do headshots more. Just check. They came out of here. But how? It definitely looked like they came right through the building, but there's no holes in the building. And now where's that treasure? One kilometer away. There's no way I'm going to be driving that far away. I'll just for now deactivate that so it can disappear on our screen. Remember guys, you have to just click active. Toggle active, then it makes it inactive. Don't accidentally uh, remove the quest because then you completely lose it. It's like you failed it basically. Okay, so first off, uh, we're going to unlock the first 10 and then sort. And we're going to sell, uh, start selling from the right of here. It's a shame that it doesn't go from left to right, it goes from right to left. All I have to do is keep on holding shift click for these guys. Just hold shift in. Even for normal uh, items, I'm getting into the habit of holding in shift all the time. So if I get to a stack, it just goes in there automatically. Okay, now please tell me I have some awesome stuff. I just lost my whole power system. So we need another solar bank. I should be able to make my own, I think. But I, I'll just need to check into that a bit. And then also... Oh, there you go. Solar bank. And then also, I want to be able to buy myself a few dart traps every now and then. I should actually go to all the traders and make sure we can get some traps from them. Uh, but if we can, we should be able to make our own. So that's really not all that bad. And we do have more. 
uh, resources of the base that we can work with. I mean, I thought I saw something. Okay, we're going to grab this. Grab the mushrooms. Why not? Yes, thank you. And it doesn't seem like you might have anything else that I need at the moment. Sometimes the traders have awesome loot. And other times it's just, eh. You could, you could do without easily. Uh, so we're going to grab that just in case we need to make more electric stuff later. And since we can already see my stuff, there's nothing. There's going to be nothing else over here. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to go back to the base. Do a little bit of inventory sorting with all the stuff downstairs and upstairs and stuff. Um, I think I'm also going to go to the pit base over there and just make sure all our engines and stuff are over here. Because now we're going to need to make ourselves a new battery bank and I don't think we have purple engines again. I think I used up all my purple engines, but yeah, I'll check. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, did I miss anything, did I think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.